Tonight, America is in grave danger. Welcome back to another episode of Craptober. Today we have Savage Weekend from 1979. Weekend. Savage Weekend is not a film for the whole family. It's only for those who can stand to be terrified. This movie was originally filmed in 1976 as The Killer Behind the Mask, but wasn't released until 1979 as Savage Weekend. It's a low-budget slasher from the 70s. That's awesome. The budget was about only $58,000 and it shows. One quick thing though, I thought the killer was going to look like how he does on the poster, but no. This is the mask and it looks awful. It looks like I was a teenage Frankenstein. I think it's somewhat inspired by it, but like, look how shitty that looks. Anyways, this movie kind of reminds me of two other great 70 horror films. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Last House on the Left because of how gritty and just dirty this movie is. This movie is about a weekend holiday that becomes a nightmare for these five people just trying to enjoy their weekend, but they're being stalked and killed by a crazed killer. I just want to point out that there's tons of nudity and sex throughout the film and it's almost just too much. I usually really love the low budget slashers, but this one, not so much. The characters are so bland throughout the film, except for Marie really. She's the only one that gives the story meaning. Her ex-husband turns out to be, spoiler alert, the killer. The best thing about this movie is the poster by far. And to be honest, that's really all this movie offers. Is this killer, sex, dead people, and boring dialogue. Otis is the local the side character the throughout the movie, movie his name is Otis, threat, and he's, he's not William the best Sanderson. person, so it leads and you to think that he he's the killer. To be honest, I wish he was the killer because he is easily the most evil dude throughout the movie. If you love low-budget slashers, go ahead and check this one out, but I'll catch you in the next one. Stay scared.